Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I was actually just working on a new video where I wanted to explain how the VRMs on your mainboard work. So in detail, how the 12 volt of your PSU are going to be transformed into the co-voltage. And yeah, while I was thinking about how I'm going to explain it, I came across the words VID, uh, co-voltage and load line calibration. And so I thought I will just do a quick video first and I will explain now uh, what the core voltage, the V-core, um, VID and the load line calibrations are. Okay, to understand CPU VID, core voltage and load line calibration, we will look at a small example. In this example, we have a CPU VID at 1.25 volt. Like I said before, it's just an example. It doesn't mean that your CPU has to have a CPU VID of 1.25 volt. VID means voltage identification definition and it's really important that you understand that the VID is not a real voltage. It's just a value which is delivered from your CPU to the mainboard once you start up your computer. So after a few milliseconds the CPU is sending this uh, VID to the mainboard so the mainboard knows exactly which voltage it has to deliver to the CPU. The VID is also a maximum value provided by Intel. So Intel says for this specific CPU the maximum value would be 1.25 volt. Now we will take a look at an example and in this example you have an idle voltage of 1.23 volt and still the VID of 1.25 volt. The idle would mean something like you're sitting in Windows and you don't do anything. So at this point you decide to start a benchmark and you can see because you started the benchmark the CPU voltage is dropping down until you reach this point. This is the maximum negative overshoot. This is caused by the fact that the CPU VRMs cannot look into the future. They just have to um, provide power and at this point during this drop they realize okay we have to deliver a lot more energy to the CPU because it's on load. So it takes a little bit of time until they have the stable load voltage. That's just normal, there's nothing you can do about it. This would be the value you can read out with, for example, CPU-Z during the benchmark load. Once the benchmark is over, it would be this point, the CPU voltage is shooting up again. It's actually the same like on the left. You have the same reason, the CPU VRMs cannot look into the future. So you will have a small voltage peak caused by the fact that the VRMs are still delivering energy and they just have to realize that there is less energy needed to the CPU. So again it will take a few milliseconds and then again you have the idle voltage at the same level like before at 1.23 volt. And you stay below the CPU VID which is exactly what Intel wants. Intel wants you to stay below the VID uh, to increase the CPU lifespan. At this example, we increased the CPU voltage, maybe manually in BIOS, from 1.23 volt to 1.25 volt. So you start at the same level like the VID. You can see here, CPU VID is the same like the CPU idle voltage. Again, at this point, you decide to start your benchmark. Voltage is dropping down to 1.19 volt, and in the end, it results in a uh, stable benchmark voltage of 1.21 volts. So you basically increased the load voltage during the benchmark maybe to overclock and to have more stability. Again the benchmark is over at this point. Voltage is increasing until you hit the peak voltage. And in this example you can see the peak voltage is at 1.27 volt which is actually over the CPU VID of 1.25 volt. So this is already out of uh, Intel specification. Even though you might think the CPU VID is 1.25 volt and you're not, not exceeding it, right? Um, because CPU Z will only detect um, the idle voltage of 1.25 volt and it will detect the, um, the load voltage of 1.21 volt. So you might think, okay, I'm still in, within Intel, Intel specifications because I never exceeded 1.25 volt. However, that's not really right because you exceeded um, the VID with a peak voltage, but the peak voltage is such small um, time span that you cannot measure it. I just want you to be aware of the peak voltages, so uh, you don't think you're still inside Intel specs, right? Okay, so one more really important factor is the CPU load line calibration. This is really, really important for overclockers because the load line calibration can adjust the V-droop. 
The V-droop is the difference between the load voltage and the idle voltage. Like I said before, the difference between load and idle voltage is something you really want to have because you reduce the CPU peak voltages. However, sometimes if you want, want to overclock really high for benchmarks or even for, for daily usage, you have to increase the load voltage. And of course, you don't want to exceed the idle voltage either, right? You don't want to want to go to maybe 1.28 uh, volt on idle just to have 40 millivolts more on load. That's why you can use the load line calibrations. calibration. You can adjust this. You can adjust the difference between load and idle. So now we will take a look at an example what happens if you set the load line calibrations to the maximum so the load voltage is exactly at the same value like the idle voltage. This would be this example. You can see idle voltage 1.25 volt, load voltage would be here also 1.25 volt and again idle voltage also 1.25 volt. Of course you might think hey I'm still in, inside Intel, um, Intel specs because CPU-C is always reporting 1.25 volt so you think okay that's cool but it's not really true right because you have uh, a huge negative overshoot here and you already between um, from, from idle to load you already exceed the Intel specs just because of the voltage peak. And it gets even worse if you hit this point when the benchmark is over and you have a peak voltage of 1.31 volt. So in fact you still think hey everything is fine um, I'm always having 1.25 volt in CPU-Z, I'm not above the CPU VID, I'm not above Intel specs, but it's really true because you cannot measure the, C um, the, the peak voltages because they're simply way too fast for you to measure. I just want you guys to be aware of it. So I hope you understood what load line calibration, VID and the real core voltage is about. If you have any questions, just drop it in the comments and I will try my best to explain it to you. If you like this video, please give it a like and maybe hit subscribe to my channel. Thanks.